Well, hello. Uh, this is the best I could come up with. As far as I can see, uh, we need to report that to Chief Architect uh, Tech Support because it's improper function. Now, this is one that I've been working on uh, for a few minutes. <clears throat> Let me go, uh, that's what it looks like in uh, plan view. There's actually three cabinets here, one for each slant and the middle one. <clears throat> Let me show you how I did that. I'll just go with a new plan. I'll just quick, quickly sketch this in. But uh, we shouldn't have to do this, but it looks like it's just improper function in pro. I don't get this kind of behavior in uh Chief Architect Premier. It just seems to be germane to Pro. Make this the uh, cabinet here. We'll make that uh, yeah three feet wide. That's good enough. And then I got a sink here. And I'm going to hit the Tab key or the next button. I'm going to resize the sink a little bit. The sink's going to be whatever your client or what, whatever you decide it is. And if you do a lot of this, you get to the point where it's just a matter of appearances, and appearances are more important than actualities. Now, in a kitchen planning, of course, the dimensions, overall dimensions, are, are very important. I don't mean to belittle that. <clears throat> Let's try to get this special effect done. We'll take this uh, sink cabinet and make it 27 inches deep like you had. Now, I already tried uh, clipping the corners like you did, and four and a quarter just doesn't seem to work. Three three seems to work, be more workable, as a, and there may be a pre-programmed uh, limit. <clears throat> but it never did angle the cabinets. I never could. It would angle the countertop, but not the cabinets. So anyway, we've got this one here. Oh, yeah, I need to make it skinnier. Make it uh, 28 inches wide. I think that's how I did the other one. And also, I had to go to uh, Edit Default Settings, uh, Cabinets, General Cabinet. And I set these uh, from the default down to one inch because I need some really skinny cabinets to do this. Not necessarily one inch cabinets, but uh, skinnier ones. So now, with the defaults changed, I can stick little skinny cabinets in the little four inch ones. <clears throat> we'll make these, uh, I'm going to shift select those, make both of them, get rid of the front, stuff on the front. Yeah, I just want a blank area, that's what I want. Make it uh, 20, 27 inches deep. Now, I can't do both of these at the same time because they're, they're different. So I'll take this one, open it up, I'm going to change it from a standard to an angle front. And I believe that one's 27 and 24. This is the way I did it. Doesn't necessarily mean this is the only way it can be done. <clears throat> I'll take this one and reverse that. This uh, will make this an angle front. Make this in 24. Duh. 24 and 27. Yeah. The only thing I noticed uh, was also that the overhangs now don't match. So I take this pattern here and add... Uh, I don't remember exactly what it was to get the effect I wanted. <clears throat> and I'll make that 1.25 inch and a quarter. Okay, I didn't like my decimals. How about and one quarter? Okay, see that now that matches up a little bit better. So that's what I did, and it's a I agree with with anybody that might complain and say that's a workaround. Well, it's a workable workaround, and, and I like things that work. Um, <clears throat> that's about it. Uh, you should have been able to do it through the dialog box in one cabinet. Like in, like I said, in Chief Premier, it does work that way. and But in Pro, for some reason, it just doesn't work. But this is a, a way to go ahead and get the effect anyway, in spite of uh, the software's apparent shortcomings. Okay, well, I hope this uh, helps you, and uh, thanks for watching.